So, what's up, guys? Um, Heretic here. I'm in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, and I'm here with... Tyler X Lairish, X Trump X. All right, and uh, so um, we were uh, hanging out at uh, Collinsville Regionals, and we were talking about doing an interview video for you guys, uh, something a little different. And so we're going to go ahead and do that, and uh, uh, stick around till the end, and uh, you'll really, uh, you really might, you might be surprised. So uh, let's, let's make some shit happen. Um, oh, yeah. All right, so, like, how did you do with that uh, Collinsville? I'm just curious. Uh, I went one five one drop. <laughs> I just haven't been playing. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's all good. It's all good. It's all, I, I I didn't test. I, I I haven't been playing Pokemon. I just go to like hang out. Fuck yeah, that's the way to do it. Hell yeah, dude. That's just all you people who get too caught up in trying to do well. Fucking just just dude. take it lightly. I love seeing all you guys. Like, I don't care. Oh about yeah, man. It would be cool to win like hundreds of dollars, but like in the end, it's it's all a card game. I enjoy playing. I'm totally like, with you there. I don't want it to this be. This is a what business. you're doing. Want, yeah, like card, card, yeah. card. I don't want it to be a business. I want it to be a hobby. You know, like I want to enjoy it. When it turns into a business, it's not enjoyable. It's it's yeah. Literally, the game has turned it from a uh, fun game play with your friends to a market. Yeah, exactly, and that's the part that fucking disgusts me. Yes. Like if you want to if you want to market Pokemon, do it the way Sean Kaufman does. Like that. Like he 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 knows how. To, I like it. Like one thing I. It, it pains me every time. You, say you bridge shuffle your deck with shamans in it. Some kid like who maybe maybe new to Pokemon at your league or something be like, you're 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 shuffling like a hundred dollars and just like, just the game, man. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> have you ever seen like any I, anyone who has a complaint with that? I I would uh, send Xander Bennett a message on Facebook asking to see the backsides of his shamans. <laughs> I'm dead serious. We'll we'll try to get that on here some point. Maybe I'll get Xander on Skype later on. But um, anyway, so um, obviously that event didn't go too hot. But you know, again, it's all about hanging out. Literally, like I, I flamed out at Philly regionals. I flamed out at Fort Wayne regionals. You know, I totally know the feels. Yeah, every everybody has their bad spots. Oh, yeah, man. It's, well, not it's not, just Jason. Part of, not Jason. Uh, Jason's kind of you know like I'm not I'm not entirely sure that he's 100 percent human, but. He doesn't yeah. really play the competitive format currently anymore. He just plays like base era, which I love. Like I, I, I fucking yeah. love wizards era formats. So, yeah. um, anyways, it's like if you're not doing like too much Pokemon, then it's just like I know you travel like Fort Wayne regionals and Madison and all that stuff. Like what else? Like what else you been doing? Um, I go to like I go to like a lot of hardcore shows. Fuck yeah, man! And... Right now. I can tell you that led to something that has entirely changed my life. Okay. So I'm gonna say back in January, this isn't where it all. This is where it started, but it didn't start seriously. I was about 340 pounds. Oh my. Yeah, and I was. Um, I knew I was like a self-destructive path if I would have like kept it going. Like from the time I was like maybe 10 years old to the time I was 13 through high school and stuff, I was thinking, I'm gaining like 10 pounds a year. This is not something I wanted to do. I'll be like 400 pounds by the time I'm like 30 years old. And that was like something I did not want to face ever. Yeah, that's really tough. Yeah, so I was like, I'm going to start going to the gym. I started going to Planet oh, Fitness, yeah. Oh, yeah. which is, a, uh, you know, a lot of people in like the fitness community will flame, play Planet Fitness and just like, it's a good place to start out at. Well, it's very it's it. very affordable too, which I think is really good. Ten dollars a month. Hell yeah. You, you can lose weight there. All you have to do is like one thing they do is uh, free pizza the first Monday of the month. That's it will get you. I, I can promise you that. I I lost a ten pounds when I was there, but I gained it back all the time eating slices and slices and slices of pizza. Yeah. Like it, it really oh. will hit you. Yeah, that'll totally do that. Um, fast forward a lot to June. I was at okay. a hardcore show, like a hardcore show in Wisconsin. Um, a, fr a good friend of mine, um, his name is Zach. He's a vocalist of a band called Left Behind. Okay. And we were talking, and I, I was I mentioned the fact that I was because he killed his weight loss thing. He he was like probably I think he was like three fifty or something. I saw him, he was, like, 300, and this was, like, a few months after, like, he started posting about it. And I'm just like, dude, 
you were killing it. I wanted to grab you and tell you that. And then he, at, like, through all of that, he was just like, yeah, you can do the same thing. He, it was June 5th. He was like, we were talking and talking and talking. He was like, give me your number. I'm going to keep you motivated. And I was like, hell yeah, dude. I'll tell you, like, all about my progress and shit. The day after that, I was still at Planet Fitness. I went back into the gym. I was, like, looking up, like, free bodybuilding programs on, like, Mm-hmm. Google and stuff. Oh yeah. And I just, I, I learned all the abbreviations, man. I learned like what hypertrophy is. I learned what like all the like lingo and like stuff is. All the words. Can't even think of the word for the words. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So like, I wanted to develop the understanding, of, like, be a, a little bit more in tune with my body, so I could like, you know, like make the progress I want, like how I want to. Um, I didn't know much about dieting. I, um, there was, like, a little thing I was misled to do was to keep myself around 1,200 calories a day. Okay. I am a, I was a 350-pound male. All that was going to do was starve me. That was going to, like, hold fat. Like, all it was going to do was it was going to hold nutrients I do have and not let them escape. So, I was staying that way forever. So, I literally, um, I talked to a friend of mine named Heston. He's, like, one of my best friends in the world, his name's Heston Swallow, not a Pokemon player or anything, but, like, we knew each other through, like, the hardcore scene and stuff. Mm-hmm. I was like, dude, because he, he was commenting on myself, just, like, like, uh, if you ever need help, get get at me. And I was like, yeah, I might. Then I never did. But, like, after that, I'm just like, dude, I, I need serious help. Like, put me, like, put me on track, please. He's like, all right. So he was like, how many calories are you eating? How many carbs? And like, I knew I knew what macronutrients are, which is protein, fat, carbs. Yeah. Three macronutrients. <laughs> and micronutrients are just like your veggies and stuff. Mm. You get, get plenty of those. Um, no, and um, this is something I do every day. Um, I drink a gallon of water. Hell yeah. You gotta stay hydrated. That's, yep. that's what gets your metabolism going. Um, so he was like, "If you only, you shouldn't be eating that low amount of calories. You should bump it up to 1,800, 2,200." Mm. So I did, and I like he gave me good like macronutrient breakdowns and stuff. Then he, he he like put me on a bunch of like lifting programs and stuff to get me like started. Um, and I swear to God, the pounds were shredding for the first two months. I lost like 20 or 30 pounds in maybe like three months. Wow. And I felt on top of the world. I was like, That's holy awesome. fuck, I'm 330 pounds. I'm 320 pounds. I'm 300 and fucking 15 pounds. Like, how is this happening? That is awesome. This is actually, like, a reality. And I shit you not. I was still going through those, mo- like, notes in my head where I'm just like, I need to keep buying bigger clothes. I might fail. But, like, literally, failure is a mentality everybody will have. It's a destructive it mentality that everybody is going to have. Like, yeah. you can't just tell yourself, I need to prepare for failure. You need to tell yourself, no. I'm going to prepare for success. Damn right. I, I didn't put this money and this effort into just to lose all of my progress in the end. Like, no. No, you got to stay consistent. Everybody has their days, but you know what you do? The day after, hop back on the train. Right now, I'm on this diet called the keto diet, which is like moderate protein, high fat, very low carbs. I am not going to lie. I I just started that like over a month ago, but I have fell off that diet at least seven times. But you know what I do? I get right back on it. Yep. And I think this interview right here is just going to keep me on it for good. You, I swear to God, Steve, you can hold me to this. I will. Oh, yeah, dude. Anybody watching this, you can hold me to it. My name is Tyler X. Lurish. If you want to send me, like, blow up my messages with it, I'll be like, yo, thank you. Keep it up. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. And how much have you lost overall now? Um, Right now, I weigh 280 pounds. Wow. Like, I'm, I'm, under the two, I'm in the 200 club again. That's I awesome, lost, dude. I lost 70 pounds. I'm so proud of you, man. Really am. I'm so uh, proud. It, it means the world to me, dude. It really does. Like, everyone, you know, if you got hats on, everyone who's watching this, take your hats off to this man, please. Like, it's just, that's so incredible. You know, like, people don't, I think, don't understand a lot of times exactly how difficult it is to do something like that. 
I mean, I can't really speak from personal experience in dieting so much. Yeah. Although it wouldn't hurt for me to drive. Yeah, I'm going to talk to you like, after this. <laughs> but, like, just the difficulty, like, you know, and all the stories you hear and everything you see, like, and people make it sound like, oh, just diet and exercise. And it's like, yeah, but you got to be more specific than that. And then sticking to it is so difficult. And it's it's really it's really moving it's really impressive and really heartwarming to know that you've done so well and i'm again like i said i'm really proud of you dude. I, it really means it means the world that like dude okay so i started this the date was june 5th june 6th i start i got the that big push on june 5th went to the gym june 6th um i started i'll pull up my instagram um, I have all my, like, progress on there, oh, and I yeah. post pretty consistently. Yeah, uh, I was, let's see, no, we can't really, oh, there, there it is. Yeah, 351 pounds on June 6th, on uh, June 5th, yeah, 2016. June 5th. 280 on, um, on 420, like, 2017. A couple days ago. Yeah. <sighs> it was an exhilarating feeling. That's incredible, dude. That's so good. Yeah, if anybody wants to see it, my name is um, 2xstep, T-W-O-X-S-T-E-P. There it is, yeah, we got it. Um, I post fitness stuff, fashion stuff, just just whatever, it's it's it's, it's lifestyle, it's... Hell yeah. I'm just a regular dude. <laughs> so, like, for real, um, like, you gotta think of weight loss like this, you're losing one pound, one pound. One pound. Yeah, one pound. I, I think one a lot pound. of people, you know, they start and they expect to see like 15, 20 pounds gone, you know, like the first time they get on the scale. And that's, that, uh, and yeah, that's not like, realistic. The first week, you'll lose about 10 pounds of water you're holding. Yeah. Water weight. Yeah. Then, like, you're, you're a lot of, you're, you're depleting yourself of a lot of, like, glycogen, you know, sugar, glucose storage. That's, it, it, but, like, it, it's still weight. Like, that's, that's mm -hmm. what you see on the scale. It is. Like, it is. Yeah. Like, all you really need to watch is, like, the biggest thing, like, I, I'd i say lower is your carb intake. Yep. If you're going to do anything, just, like, watch out for, like, sugary foods. Like, honestly, yep. it's, 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 it's a myth, but it's also, like, something you should watch out for at the same time. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, back when I first started, I would just do me, like, if it fits your macros. So I would eat, like, 125 carbs a day. That's and I would, eat, I would eat cookies. Hell, hell yeah, I'd eat cookies. I'd eat a brownie. Like, fuck yeah. It fits my macros, so I'll do it. But I wouldn't eat, like, a pan full of brownies. Yeah, exactly. You have to be able to self-control. And I think that's something a lot of people struggle with. I know m myself I struggle with, too. You know, like, portions and self-control is something that's a big deal for me when I eat. One thing I can encourage everybody to do is, even if you're not going to, like, track your calories, like, go to Walmart, like, spend, like, $8 on, like, a food scale. It's yeah. so easy. You just, just put it on there, like, wait, just... Because here's the deal, I never, like, eat just one portion. I'll have, like, two portions of this, one portion of that, and, like, three portions of, like, this, and that'll be my meal. Because I'll, I'll know, like, what's in it. Yeah. Because you're going to eat three, you a base. You basically eat three meals a day, I, or however, it, 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 in the end, it doesn't matter how many meals you eat, just try to, try to do at least three space between mm -hmm. the days. Yeah. Um, yeah, but... Uh, what really got me pushed, like, in between everything was, I watched a lot of, like, I cruise around YouTube, like, all day, like, after work, and in between, like, my busy times. Like, um, a lot of, like, the person who got me, like, into fitness in general, like, I, I was, I've always been, like, losing weight and stuff, so I watched, um, somebody who goes by the name of Max Tuning. Okay. Um, this, this is his brand, um, Ever Forward Apparel. Oh, my nice. My friend Heston, who, nice. um... Yeah, my friend Heston gave me this hat, like, for, because we, because he knows, like, I'm a huge fan of, like, uh, Max shooting. He had, like, two of these, I guess. And he was like, I have a gift for you. And I was like, what is it? He's just like, here you go. And I was like, oh, shit! I, I, I geeked. I geeked hard. Yeah. That's <laughs> like, a, it's like, be like the way I geeked when uh, Ashley Costello offered to sign both my, uh, of my set list that she handed me after this concert and then the CD I got is I thought she would only sign one thing and then she's like oh I can sign a boat and I was just, how and she, sweet and that, and that woman gave me three hugs and I was like you know like you can say like whatever like oh you know like whatever she gave you a hug but I don't know but like this chick like lead singer like of New Year's Day and just a 
like she's a total savage on stage. Like you know, she's not like this kind, gentle, whatever on stage. She's a fucking savage. She's a badass. Once you get and into then, like, like you meet her, and like she gives me this great big hug, like outstretched arms. And she's just like, you're so wonderful, and all this. And I was just like, and I discovered her band because she follows me on YouTube or not YouTube on uh, Twitter. Nice. And like I saw that, and I was like, who's Ashley Costello? And so I looked at her, and I was like, okay, okay your new band, and. Oh, it's New Year's Day. Oh, New Year's Day, all right. And this one was Maria Brink. Oh, oh my God, yeah. And then, so I was like, okay, so I started listening, and I was just like, damn, this is good. You know, like, and, like, anyone who knows me knows I love female front metal and rock bands, mm-hmm. so it's like... Kitty. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay. Um, but it's just, you know, it, it was a wonderful thing, and I think just meeting her was just, you know, it was a really, it was a really beautiful thing, too. So I just kind yeah. I just kind of know that feeling of, like kind of getting that ecstatic feeling, being, like, like almost euphoric. Like, I didn't think it could be this good. Quick lame warning. Genre warning. I would consider them into, like, the metalcore side, like, versus metal. Definitely in the metalcore side. One thing you'll notice versus, like, metalcore and hardcore versus mm. metal and, like, rock. Yeah. You'll have the rock stars on the metal rock side. You'll have the genuine people who will go into the crowd mosh with their fans in, like, the hardcore, like, metalcore side. Oh, yeah. Like, like, for real, like, don't be shy if you go to a show and you see, oh, like, no. stuff that you want. Just, like, don't, like, just, like, keep it a little bit toned down. Like, yo, I'm stoked to meet you. Don't be like, oh, my God. Yeah, no, don't, don't, do, that. don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, I mean, like, I've don't done... Don't try be- to be on the bus or some shit. No, that, no, that, that's, that, that's, that's, that's fucked up. Like, I've done, you know, like, I've done meet and greets, pre-show, VIPs and stuff. And, like, with Hailstorm, I found out, for example, like, I mean, they're not metal, they're just a rock act, but I found out that if you ask them to play a song, there's a pretty good chance they'll actually do yes, it. Yes, they actually because will. Because I've done it twice, and I've gotten my, I've gotten it both times. One nice. time, one time right before they did it, uh, Lizzie was talking to RJ before they started to play the next song, and it looked like they were, like, saying something, and I had tweeted to them the night before asking them to play a specific song. And then the second time... I asked him during the VIP meet and greet pre-show, and RJ says, asking you shall receive, and then when I saw the set list paper at the end of the show, they had one of the songs crossed off, and they wrote Jump the Gun, which was the song I requested. <laughs> and so, I was just like, that's so fucking cool. There you like, go, dude. Like, you're not, yeah. like, most bands won't do that, but it's just like, Hailstorm, like, they love their fans, and, you know, it's like within this moment, it's... They're, like, with them, it's tougher because it's a little more Hailstorm theatrical. Hailstorm was the very but... first band I saw live. That's really cool. Yeah. I fucking love Hailstorm. But it's just, like, w- within this moment, it's more like... I'm a- I'm part of a website called Maria Brinks Wonderland. All right. Where she does, like, close interactions with her fans. And so, like, you can mention songs to them and, like, to her and all this stuff. And she'll do, like, early updates on, like, their upcoming album and all that stuff. So, it's just really cool. And, you know, again, with... With Ashley Costello, she's just super active on social media, and so it's just really easy to be able to talk to her and all that stuff. So it's really cool, you know, like, when musicians do that. Because with Hailstorm, it's not just Lizzie. It's all for them, you know? Like, oh, like, yeah. RJ, like, that motherfucker, oh, my God. I, so many funny stories with him. Like, I, I wouldn't be able to cover them all right now. It's just, it's just so crazy. Yeah. Real quick, one dude who definitely kept me on track with weight loss is a YouTuber named um, John Gloud, John Gloud, John Gloud, Obese to Beast. His channel, you will vibe with this dude. He is literally like, I felt like this is, this is me. He was a, I, I'm a Christian. He was a Christian. He was a drummer. I'm a drummer. He was 360 pounds starting. I was 350. Um, he went through all the struggles I did, and right now he's 180 pounds. He wow. Just entered, yes. He entered a bodybuilding competition, like a, a physique show. That's sweet. And I'm just like, I'm doing this. Hell yeah, I'm man. doing this. Hell yeah. Like, I, I haven't told anybody in my family. I think now my brother knows because he's sitting behind me, um, <laughs> but I'm for sure. Like, I'm going to a bodybuilding competition, like, like an expo, like a convention. Yeah. Like, called Mr. Olympia in Las Vegas later this year, just to, like, meet... I want to meet him really bad. 
Hell yeah. Like, I'm going to do everything I can to meet this guy before the year ends. And Max Tuning is going to be there, too. So I'm just like, I'm probably going to fanboy. <laughs> yeah, that thing we tell you not to do. Yeah, it's, it's going to happen. Yeah. I mean, that, and that's too. It's like, you know, I think about that now. And, and the other thing I want to point out here, you know, like, I know you're a Christian. You know, yeah, I'm, yeah, you, yeah. And you, you know, I'm, well, I'm technically agnostic. I'm technically not atheist. Yeah, it's but, their own. But, but it's like, you know, I, I feel like everyone should be able to have their own beliefs, you know, like, and people, Absolutely. you know, people of any religion get a bad rep, you know, like, Muslims get a bad rep, too, and it's just like, again, I feel, I, like, I really feel for those people, too, because mm -hmm. I, I don't think that they should get that kind of a reputation just because of what happened, and I don't care what anyone says about, well, it's not my fault that this happened, and that's just collateral damage. No, I don't, I don't agree with that, you know, and I think that everybody should be able to believe their own, and I think, really, for me, it's as long as people don't fall it on me is my only thing like i you know like i would never try to tell someone that they shouldn't believe something i don't think that's right absolutely 100 percent, 100 percent. i mean that's it, it's just unfortunate that some people don't quite follow that mold but hopefully you know as we get forward and you know as our and with, with our generation i'm noticing a lot less of converting and people trying to do that so that's definitely a really yeah really everybody's a lot more right respectful direction. of people these days like yeah. believe it or not like, people are a lot more respectful. Yeah, just, like, I mean, I, I would definitely agree with that. There's so much hate, dude. Like, why oh, is I know. 2017 I, I, is, like, the rebirth of fucking racism, dude? Like, the only thing right now that I hate at this point is I hate how much hate there is, in, like, like what you said. It would just, you know, you can dismiss it as Miss America all you want, but I, yeah, you know, it, it, it really makes me sick, you know, like... And that people like, yeah, racism is sadly sad to say, sad, excruciatingly painful to say. Racism has always been a thing; it's never died, but right now it is thriving. Well, and it's I think that comes with the guy insane. sitting in the Oval Office is definitely not helping that cause. You're right. And, You're right. And I mean, it's like you know, racism, sexism, all this stuff. You know, like like people are people. I don't care what the color of your skin is. I don't care what your gender is. I don't care what your sexual orientation is. I don't care what your religion is. I don't care how old you are. You know, like, a person is a person, you know, and everybody deserves respect, love, compassion. Yeah. You know, we all have hard times, and we all, you know, we all have people around us. And uh, life is way too short to, like, oh, yeah. judge people for being fat or... Yeah, exactly. Like, or in my case, you know, like I'm on the autism spectrum. That's something a lot of people yeah. don't, don't know, but I don't mind if they do. You right. know, and people could judge me and try to say like, oh, well, you're just some autistic fuck. And just be like, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to be offended if you say that to me, but my wife will. Yeah, you know? she'll, beat your, she'll, she'll beat their ass, dude. Yeah, and it's just like, you know, I, I, will, I will rush to the defense of anyone else on the spectrum or with any other kind of mental condition that gets picked on like that, you know? Same. I mean, I hear my friend getting picked on for, like, being, like, for this, for anything, like, like, maybe a mental disability, like, a, or a oh, sexual yeah. orientation, like. Yeah, no, it's, that's, that's, like, that's so wrong. Bring a glove, because you're catching these hands. <laughs> yeah. For real. Yeah, it's, it, you know, and people just, they don't understand, they don't try to understand, they're just like, well, if they're not like me, then I, they're not right, you know, and it's, it's really depressing. It really is. It really is, dude. Yeah. So what? Let's let's get back on track with like the interview, though. Hell like, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Let's, so let's get to there's this. one thing I definitely do want to talk about. <laughs> yeah. That I have I struggled with about a month ago is staying on track. I I do. I really do. A lot of my friends are gonna watch this. I know, and they're they they may be surprised, maybe not. I don't know what to say, but like, in, in the case they are, yes, I skipped a week of the gym. Just, just put, put thoughts to skip it. Did not feel like going. Just wanted to sleep in every day. Yeah, man, I understand. And I, I guess maybe it was necessary because my back feels a lot better. But you know, like it was. I know a lot of it was just laziness. A lot of it was mm -hmm. laziness. Yeah. I should have just took the time out of my day and just went. Like, what else was I gonna do better? Yeah. Besides, make my life I, better. I understand. You know, you get up off your ass and go, but it, it is very difficult. Mhm. Mm yeah, so it, it's like, like just because you're struggling, that's that's not a reason to give up. 
No, not at all. Like, I if if it's every realistically, I don't want to sound morbid or crazy, but every day is a struggle. Do you go through with every day? You goddamn try to. Yeah, you yeah you do. What is if if you don't go through every day, like what's happened? Like if if you wake up next morning, you you succeeded already. Yeah. Um, I would agree with that. If so, d- do something with that day. Just it, it, do Make it. Do it happen, makes you. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And this this is what I needed. Like I I didn't want to be big for the rest of my life. Like I want to be big, but I didn't. I didn't want to be overweight. I yeah. didn't like. Yeah, man. Because I, have I'd say I've always been like a fit person, but like, you can be a fit person like be three hundred fifty pounds, but later down the line, I can guarantee you, you won't be that fit. No. Especially now, like, as you get older. Because I, when I was three hundred fifty pounds, I would get in the pit of shows and I would just feel it towards last band and it's like, man. Yeah. This is I'm yeah. out of shape. I'm old. Yeah. And it's like no, I'm overweight. And uh, you can totally fight back from that, you know, and you, you fight back, you can be whatever you want to be, you know, like, I'm a strong believer in people following their hearts and doing what they want to do, but I mean, exactly. like, what you were saying about the next day being a success, you know, like, like what you said about the gym, you know, you got a lot of people, you know, like, who go to work, you know, and it's like, a lot of these jobs we work, they're soul crushing, literally, but we, but we do it because we have to, you know, it's a way, you know, you got to pay your rent, you got to pay If there's bills, something you want, and you then make it happen. Yeah, and then, you know, like, some of us, you know, like, you look at my situation, I have a wife and a son. And, exactly. You know, and I look at that, I look at my family situation, I look at my wife, who's also working and doing the same, you know, the same stuff, and just how difficult it is that for her, I know it is. And then I look at my little baby boy, who's going to turn two next month, and, uh... and I, it's just like, that is my motivation. That is, like, that little boy is the reason that I keep pushing forward with whatever it is I'm trying to do, you know, and it's, it's a whole nother perspective. Yeah, I realize like every ounce of life is mentally taxing and there's, it's all for a reason. Like every, everybody is going to have a shitty job. You know what you do with that job? It pays your bills, man. Yeah. Like I, I struggle with, <clears throat> uh, there are days where I want to walk out like a hundred percent. Oh like, yeah. I totally there days when I'm at my register, I'm just like I have the light shut off, and just like I'm I want to leave, but I'm just like at the end of this, like I want to play Pokemon, I want to buy shoes, I want to do this shit. I want to go to concerts. I want to yes, I want to go to all the shows, dude, and I want to keep my gym membership going. Yeah. So, like, if, if there's something you want, you work hard for it, and that's Absolutely. what that's that's why that's what kept me going to the gym. Yeah, like and straight up, like I, yeah. I have some XLs, like in my in my closet. I'm I'm wearing a two X right now. Like I have some XLs, and I'm like, I'm on the verge of fitting into it. Like that's I, awesome. Like in maybe dude. another 50, 80 pounds. That's awesome. I'll be I'll be in those comfortably, and I cannot wait for that day. It's yeah. it's something that I think about every day, like on the hour, every hour. Oh, Just like I I'm, I- I'm gonna be here. And that kind of thing keeps you motivated, too. You know, I was like, the big one with my son more recently when we moved to our new place uh, last month was a good school district. You know, we want to find a place. We want to get that good school district. We want to get a safe neighborhood for him to grow up in. And, you know, at yeah. that point, it's not about me. It's not about Mari. It's about Axel. And it's the same thing, you know. But it's like for me, too. When I was a teenager, I was depressed. Mm-hmm. And I know what it's like to try to fight through something like that. Getting out of depression, you know, it's like, I mean, for me, I kept punching that wall until metaphorically, I mean, you know, my fists were broken and all that stuff. Like, not literally, but. Yeah, no, but, I know what you mean. But I got there, and it took a while, I, and I could have done a better job, but I look back on it, and I don't think about, well, I should have done this better. I think about it, and, you know, like, hey, I got out of this. I made it, you know, like, I'm here. And. I, and you're going to get to that spot with, with your weight loss program, too. Like, I've seen your progress, you know, and I know you're going to get there, man. I appreciate I appreciate those words so much, dude. <laughs> you're, that's, you're, that's something well, everybody yeah. needs to keep in their head, though. It's like, if there's something in your head, like a goal, you're going to get it. 
You're gonna. You will. I agree. Like all I have to do is keep pushing forward. Look at this. Here's here's my hand. Here's my hand. Look, I want I want to touch it together, right? So yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep pushing. It there happened, you go. dude. Yeah. It happened. That that's that's what life is, straight up. Yeah. That's what life is. And yeah. You can you could literally keep doing this. Yeah. You know you what's can... gonna happen? Nothing. That's no no because life will push itself back. Oh oh you know yeah. Oh yeah. Eventually. This is gonna happen. At some point. All yeah. All the way back here. Mm -hmm. Coming right back. Yeah. Like well, shit happens. Well, and, you know that's uh. It's another thing too. You get go ahead and get this off the wall because like this was something for me, and it's a lot more. It's a lot smaller, but this is my New Year's Day set list signed by yeah. Ashley Costello. You can see right here, and this is something when I started listening to them and watching the music video, and I thought to myself, I want to meet her. I want to, you know, I didn't even know how amazing of a person she was going to be until I met her. But I was like, I want to meet her. I want to get the set list from their show because I that's something when I go to concerts is I like to get set lists. And yes. When they were walking off stage, I yelled Ashley at the top of my lungs like three, four, five times. She finally heard me. I had my hand up in the air. I was waving. And I yelled out, can I have the set list? And she walked in with one set list. And she walked back onto the stage, took it off the middle of the stage, and handed it to me. Someone else tried to grab it. She said, no, this guy asked me for it. It's his. And I said, yes. you know, again. I pushed myself forward. I had to fight through that crowd. I wasn't trying to cut in front of people. I just, I had to fight through it. I had to make my way up there slowly, patiently, and I got there, and this was my reward. And then she signed it after the show. And so this is, you know, again. I bet this you is, were crying, weren't you? Uh, I, I, was, I, 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 I was tearing up a little bit. I, more so because of how, how sweet of a person she is. You know, like, I she took a selfie with me. It's on my Facebook oh, yeah. page. It's... It's, it was such a wonderful experience, you know, and like six songs might not seem like a lot. They weren't, they weren't headlining, but I regret nothing about this. Like it was just, it was such an incredible experience. Oh yeah. You'd every experience is an incredible one because it only leads to better ones. Oh yeah, man. For sure. Okay, Dude, so yeah, wall. like 70 pounds ago. I was 150, 351. Yeah. Now I'm 280 pounds, and I'm only so moving awesome. forward. And I, yeah. I only plan on moving forward. Hell yeah. Like I'm, I, I cheated today. I cheated today. I'm getting Shame back on, on tomorrow. Shame on you, dude. Get back Shame. in. It's okay. Don't, donut. don't wallow in that. Just keep pushing forward, like you said. I'm not, dude. I feel like my my stomach feels like shit, but like I'm not gonna. I don't feel like shit. Well, and just think about it too. If your stomach feels like shit because you ate a donut. Get back in your diet. Oh no, your a donut. Feel like shit. A donut, some Taco Bell, and uh, some ice cream. I mean, even most diets have like a cheat day, but man, what you're doing, you know, I just, I, I, I just, I, it, it amazes me, and I'm so proud, you know, and I'm so proud to see that the Dude, Pokemon community thing? has this, has an example with you to be able to motivate them, and another example actually over in uh, Josh Squeaky Market. He's another one. He is killing it. Yeah, and that's another thing, you know, that I think, you know, like, if you guys have watched the Team Fish Knuckles channel, the dude who does all those videos, that's that's the guy we're talking about. He's another one. He has lost so much weight, and both of you guys, you know, like, I feel like you guys need to be recognized more in the community for your weight loss and your perseverance and dedication to all of this. It's so incredible. Like, I, 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 I can't put into words how incredible. Dude, really it's can. it's so appreciated, dude. Can I can, let's 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 all put a quick motivation in for my boy uh, here. He messaged me. Uh, no, he uh, on Instagram comment. He was like, dude, he was telling me how I motivate him and shit, and I'm, he just like, like I'm keeping him on track or something like so along those lines. Mm -hmm. Um. And it, it made me feel good, dude. Hell yeah, It's my man. boy right here. There he is. That's Kenny. Kenny Freaking Wisdom. Heck Kenny yeah. Wisdom. We all know him. He's an announcer. He does commentating. He's real cool. I'll let, Let's I'll, say it right now. I like that, man. Kenny, you got this, dude. If you're still watching this, if you're watching this, you got this. You can you do can it, only buddy. only keep moving forward. 
Yeah, heck yeah, just, man. Just don't look back ever. Like you'll never be there again. No, you're gonna keep you 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 keep going. We love you. We all support you, man. All of us. Like there's a reason that we're all taking the time to do this. So you got this, dude. You're Hell gonna yeah, be next. You're next on the list. You're you're gonna be the next one on the list. Fuck yeah. Yo, you're we're already make, on the list. Yeah, so but we yeah, but we gotta make this happen. Dude, he messaged me about his gym, and I got so stoked. I Hell swear yeah. to God, dude. Oh my God, I, I I was this is this like how I am right now is my reaction when he when I when he sent me the text and just like yes, dude, get it. Fuck yeah, man. The one thing I am bad about is texting back, just because I'm usually like super tired or at work or something. Yeah, no, but, like, I'm the same way. Yeah. It's like I'll give you, I'll give anybody my like my number if they like want to talk. Like, but I, I just I can't promise I'll text back all the time. Yeah, that's just <laughs> kind of my thing too. Yeah. But. Dude. So yeah. if I I do I do have some like ending things to say. Yeah, most definitely. I was gonna say we gotta get wrapping things up here pretty soon. So, yeah. So why, why, why don't you go ahead? Um. Every every ounce of effort is worth it. You'll only move forward. Oh yeah. Um Quest bars are better than Gatorade bars. Hundred percent. Uh every gym is a good gym. Unless like there's asbestos. <laughs> yeah. Uh don't pay more than fifty dollars for your membership. That that's one thing because um there's a lot of go to go to go to okay. Go, if you're going to start, go to Planet Fitness. Because, if, especially if you travel, if you're a Pokemon player watching this, go to Planet Fitness. There are Planet Fitnesses all over the place. You'll always be able to work out. You know what? Or, um... Yeah, just, um... If you say you're traveling, you, there's always a way to keep on your diet. Gas station food. I'll give you a few tips for gas station food. Beef jerky. Um, nuts. There's always nuts for two for a dollar, so don't give me any shit. They're, they're, they're really cheap. And they're really good for your metabolism. Um, and just water, dude. Just water. Just only drink water. And uh, and one thing, there's a myth going around about diet soda being bad for you. I'm telling you right now, I've lost 70 pounds and I drink... There were times where I'm drinking like a two liter of diet, like Diet Dr. Pepper in a day. And I'm telling you that, did not, that didn't matter at all. <laughs> so... Yeah, just just keep moving forward. Keep yourself motivated. Um, the only thing that'll ever stop you is you. And resist temptation. Like, I I don't know how else I can say it better. Like, your uh, life is your life. If you if you want something, <laughs> you make it happen. Yeah, you're the one in control of that. I agree. Surround yourself with good people and, and like keep your just keep your head strong. Like, Definitely. I sincerely love all of you from the bottom of my heart. And I just want to see everybody succeed. Like... Me too. Life life isn't about, like, hating who you are. It's no. about wanting to make yourself better. I, yeah. And, and, you know, and that's the thing is, ultimately, I want to see people happy. I want to see, yes. I want to see people, you know, happy with their lives, enjoying themselves, you know, doing what they love, living what they love, you know, li living their dream. Exactly. Exactly, couldn't say better myself. So, um, anyway, that's uh, that's uh, I think all we're gonna have for you guys here tonight. I really appreciate uh, you guys for watching. Uh, I'd like to say a special thank you to Tyler for doing this interview. Uh, really, really awesome what he's accomplished. And so, uh, thank you very much for uh, coming on here and taking time out of your busy life to be able to do this. Absolutely, thank you, Steve. Uh, my pleasure, man. Uh, also, so. remember to check out my Instagram, 2xstep, T-W-O-X-S-T-E-P, 2xstep, and I'll probably follow you back if you follow me. <laughs> okay, there you go, guys. All right, okay. so, um, yeah, we will see you guys next time. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.